access to quality basic education is still a major problem facing many Ghanaian communities. In 2011, the net enrollment for primary school education was 84% described by UNICEF. The Guardian newspaper also disclosed in April 2015 that 90% of Ghanaian children were enrolled in school ahead of countries like Pakistan and Nigeria. Today, we are here at the Bagabaga Annex Primary School in the Sanargo district of the northern region. And we're here to see and find out how their children are receiving basic education in the school. My name is Sally Furukaya and I'm a teacher of Bagabaga Anes Primary. No, now the furniture are not there again. Uh, you can see that the children are sitting on the floor. And even teachers don't have tables and chairs. It's a problem. The textbooks are the textbooks are there. The textbooks are there. Mm. Only the, the problem is the, the furniture and then the classroom. Yes, please. Yes, you, as you can see. How can a child just dress up and come to a school and sit on the floor? Even if the ground, if it is floor, that oneself is better. But the floor, you can see it yourself. The floor is not good. The children are sitting, even they are, if, you, if they write and you are going to mark a teacher, it's a problem. Because the books will be dirty. When it's around 12 and you come here, you can sit. A special rainy season. When it's rain, you see that you see how the, the place is. When it just blows small, wind just blows, so the whole compound is rubbers and papers. It's a problem. Yeah, we did the headmistress, they did uh, several, they said they send letters to the office, but they, they send and they do follow up all the same. They have they have no help. Yes, that we, we try to tell them the, the school need the help. Even the whole block, you see that the whole block, when you just go outside and see the block itself, it's like the block is like when it's heavy rain, sometimes when it's, it's windy, we can't sit in the classrooms. We have to change a class, we'll go to the, the, uh, the GSS, that one is better. Sometimes we we'll go to the GSS. Uh, so we need a help, uh, we need help. Uh, we are welcome. My name is Superior Comfort. Superior Comfort. Okay, how old are you? I am 11 years old. Okay, and which form are you? Which class are you? P3. P3. So, um, what do you think the school, what are the problems your school is facing? We need chairs and tables. And we wanted to clear here clear so that we can be able to see if we are sometimes we smell. If we go home, it's like we should vomit. We vomit. Okay. So um, you don't have tables and chairs here? Yes. So how do you write? We sit on the floor and write. Okay. Okay. So um, are you, do you feel comfortable sitting on the floor? Right? No. Mm. When you go to the toilet, do you have access to water so you can wash your hands? No. We have to buy. We have to buy. So what if you don't have money? If you don't have money, you leave it. You can't wash. You can't wash your hands. So yes. you visit the toilet and you come back without washing your hands. Yes. Okay. So what do you want to tell people of Ghana and the government of Ghana? What is your message? We want them to come and clear here and give us water. Water. Mm -hmm. And only water and clear here. Yeah. And chairs and, and chairs. tables. Chairs and tables. Okay. Thank you very much. Karen. And zinc here. 
Zinki. Thank you. The zinc is leaking to right. Yes. These children are Ghanaian citizens. They deserve to be treated equally and fairly. Quality education is not just a privilege. Quality education is a human right. We all are entitled to quality education. From the Sanargo district in the northern region, my name is Mohammed Abdel Rafi Mohammed.